Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We are here with more PGA Tour 2K21 playing another TGC member course. This one is literally playing golf in a neighborhood. It's called Suburban Links of Cat Gas. Red tees are the only option, so that's where we're playing from. Let's get started. All right, we got the first hole. It looks like it's a par five, 532 yards. Wind is right to left. We're in a neighborhood, so we definitely need to take a look at our shots here. We have a little mini fairway here with our three wood. Uh, let's take a look around. We have another fairway here. We're going to aim for this fairway with our driver, see what we can do. All right, great hit right down the middle. All right, second shot of the first hole. Wind is still right to left. We have about 247 yards. It wants us to use our, our three wood. That is a pretty aggressive play. As long as I hit it good, it should be okay, but I'm gonna do three hybrid. The wind is gonna push it just a bit left. Ooh. All right, third shot, we got very lucky. We bounced off the road onto the green. That bounce, man, if it went anywhere else, we would have been in a lot of trouble. But now we have a nice eagle opportunity on the first hole, which is uh, pretty rare, but looks pretty straightforward. Right, left to right, just slightly, six feet. My thumb almost pushed that left. All right, second hole, we are two under through the first. We are at a par 319 yards. It looks like the wind is at our back. And this is a hole-in-one opportunity, everybody. Let's do this. Oh, wow. Okay, I put a little bit too much spin. Second shot for birdie. We're putting it just a few feet. A little tiny bit right to left, but it's not really going to make a difference. All right, we are three under through two. This is the third hole, par four, 288 yards. Wind is coming at us just a bit, but mostly left to right. Wants us to hit it at this fairway here. Is this a is it a possibility to play this this fairway over here? It looks like it might be, unless these trees. We're gonna play aggressively. It's a video game. We're three under through two. Wow. Hit that one a little fast, but we are on the fairway, so obviously we have a great lie. It is flat, the wind is left to right, but we're gonna flop it in there so it won't uh, make too much of a difference. 43 yards, we got a 43 yard flop, let's do this. All right, third shot for birdie, putting for birdie, a little bit left to right, we're gonna Aim at the edge of the cup. It doesn't look like the left to right is enough to aim much further than that. Don't want to risk a lip out, which is very possible on this putt. Now I'm a little nervous. Let's do this. Another birdie. Four under through three. All right, here we are, fourth hole, par four. Wind is a little bit right to left. It's 277 yards, but it's recommending our five iron for some reason or another. Uh, and it makes complete sense as to why it's doing that. But I'd like to maybe play with the three hybrid. If I can get it over these trees, no problem. It shouldn't be a big issue. Uh, the wind will help it a little bit left. Let's see if we can bounce it off this road right onto the green or next to it. I don't want to add too much shape to the shot because of the trees. I clipped a tree and way too much shape. So now we are in tree trouble. All right, here we are. Second shot, we clipped a tree. We have about 54 yards with tree trouble. Uh, we are in the heavy rough, so we are losing a lot, a lot of our power here. Practice swing, um, it recommends a lob ledge, but look at this heavy rough taking about 30% off of our shot. So we definitely need to uh, get way up into this area here. Um, I don't know if I can hit it around this tree or not, but we might try. 
and it clipped the tree, so I lost my shape. All right, third shot, right up against the fence. You can barely see my head there. Uh, we are in heavy rough. I feel like we're going to be in the heavy rough a lot in this course. Uh, but here we go. We're going to try to chip it. Uh, let's club up a little bit more. Pretty straightforward on the green. See what happens. Ah, oh, man. Well, thankfully, we have a nice easy putt for par. All right, fifth hole, par four, 270 yards. Wind is kind of at our back, going a little bit left to right. We're hitting down a road again, guys, and these are such tricky shots. I don't know. I feel like my five iron is going to roll all the way there, so we're going to try to use the road to our advantage instead of aiming for this little fairway that it wants us to aim at. So let's see what happens. Ooh. All right, so we are next to the green, pretty close. I like how there's people outside their homes watching us golf. All right, so we got a nice easy uh, uh, mini flop, you know, the splash. We're on the road, so we have a good lie. The green is very straightforward. Let's see how this goes. All right, third shot, birdie opportunity, straightforward. Let's get it in. Five under through five. Here we are in the sixth hole, another par three, a little bit longer. This one's 162 yards into the wind and it's in someone's backyard. This is going to be a tough, tough shot. I wonder if I could hit a nice, a nice high six iron just to play it safe. Uh, the wind might take just enough off of it. Let's see what happens. I probably shouldn't do this. Looks like I'm making it in someone's pool. All right, we're on the fringe. It wants us to chip, but you know what we're going to be doing. Obviously, we're putting uh, because it's a rather straightforward putt, it looks like. Can't take the flag out since we're off. In for birdie. Six under through six. All right, here we are, seventh hole, par five, 432 yards, just a tiny bit of wind at our backs here. Another one down the street. These are very tricky because you, you kind of just want to ride the street as far as you can. So maybe like a three wood would get us to pretty close. I don't want to be on the left side of the street though. Uh, hit it fast. All right, second shot. Wind is at our back just ever so slightly. We're in the heavy rough, so we're losing about 25% of our shot. Um, so we have to club up just a bit here. And uh, let's see. The more I club up, especially to that hybrid, the more trouble we're going to get in. So we're going to try to just maybe uh, club down just a bit. See if we can use the street to our advantage. Maybe get a nice bounce off the road. Let's do this. I went completely over the road. All right, third shot. We're not in the worst situation quite yet. Uh, we could probably flop it on in there. Wind is at our back. It's not going to affect the flop shot too much. We're in the heavy rough, taking about 15, 20% off our shot. This should be, this should be okay. I think I hit that far. I couldn't see. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we are chipping for birdie six yards away. This is the weirdest lie we've gotten so far on this course. It's going to want to kick a little bit, right? Um, but I don't know how much. So this is probably going to be a par hole for us. Let's see what happens.
And it didn't go anywhere, but we had the right idea of putting for par straight up. All right, we're starting the eighth hole, another par five, a nice short one, only 311 yards. The wind is coming at our faces. It's going to impact our shot just a bit. Let's see what we can do here. Looks like we could just drive it there. Uh, we might end up in the rough, but that's going to give us a lot of opportunities to get it in the hole. I don't want to hit this fence, because then we're going to be hitting over a fence. So let's just ever so slightly aim there, and I'll try to curve it just a bit. Almost on the fairway there. Okay. So we're going to splash it out of here since we're in the heavy rough and we're going to be losing a lot of our shot here. But uh, since we're in the heavy rough, we're losing about 30% of our distance, which is uh, quite a bit. All right, we got a little bit lucky, but now we're in for an eagle putt. We hit the flag stick on the last one, which was pretty impressive. It would have gone pretty far, but I put some spin on it, and we had that little backdrop next to the rock there. So uh, let's see if we can hit this eagle putt right to left ever so slightly, eight feet. All right, here we are, ninth hole, another par five. It, where's the flag? It looks like it's way over here, 371 yards. Um, and I am not really sure. Maybe try to land it in someone's backyard or ride the road a little bit. Where did it want me to hit it? Right here? Interesting. Okay, we're going to just do what it wants. All right, perfect. We could probably hit it between these houses. So we have a pretty straightforward shot to the green. It's par five, so this is actually a great opportunity. Uh, hit the green in two, get another eagle. Okay, that did not go right at all, but we are good and on the green. Again, these greens, you know, pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm going to aim just outside the, the cup here. Hopefully get this in for eagle. So that's three eagles in the front nines. So we are 10 under through nine. We are on the 10th hole, par four, 452 yards. Slight wind left to right. Uh, looks like it's aiming us right at a fairway here. And that's basically our best shot is at this fairway. All right, second shot. Wind is just ever so slightly at our back, just a little bit right as well. 215 yards to the pin. Uh, the fairway looks like it ends right before the pin. And our three hybrid's going to take it too far. I'm not sure if that tree is going to become an issue, but if it is, it's just going to drop us on the fairway. So we're going to go ahead and use our, five, our four hybrid. This rough is some heavy stuff, so we are chipping out just next to the green. Uh, but this rough is taking quite a bit off of us, so let's see if we can even get it there or birdie. Eleventh hole, par three, 234 yards. Wind is at our back. We're hitting over some big, nice greenhouses here. Oh, man, and we are in a tricky situation once again, you know, playing golf in the neighborhood. Not much of a surprise. We might be able to bounce it off the road into the cup here, or I feel like the wind is going to carry this one further than we want. So let's see what happens with the four hybrid. Worst case, we're, you know, par in this hole.
All right, second shot. That first shot off the road uh, bounced much further and rolled much further than I had previously expected. So we are hitting off of a pretty weird little spot here. You can, can't really see. It's a definitely a downhill lie though. So we're gonna put some spin and loft on this just in case. I don't want it rolling too far if we miss. Uh, hit it like crap. Putting for par, thankfully a nice flat green. All right, 12th hole, par 4, 451 yards. Wind is at our face, just slightly right to left. Uh, uh, God, it's wanting us to either try to hit this little fairway, or we can just play like a dumbass like we usually do and try to roll it up this, uh, this road here. Let's see, how far will my driver roll up the road? That's the question. Let's see what happens. And I hit it like crap. So we are in trouble. There's a car in the house. All right. I have to show you guys this. Look at that. There's a car in this house. See that? I wish I could see it better. Okay. So there's a car in this house. Anyways, we're on the second shot of the 12th hole. We completely messed up the first one. I don't know why the camera is doing this right now, but anyways, we got 165 yards. It's recommending our seven iron, uh, but we're in the heavy rough, so we definitely need to club up. We might honestly not be able to get it there, and we're going to be trying to par a second hole in a row. Uh, pretty decent looking cars ahead of us, though. Um, yeah, we're going to try to five iron it just straight, use the wind, bring us right to left. Under the car, we just like hitting out of the rough today, so we're going to do it again, obviously, you know, because it's fun, apparently. But uh, we have heavy rough, 23 yards from the pin. Car obstructing our view. Don't want to dent the car. I could splash this in there, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. All right, guys, we're just going to bogey this hole. No problem. All right, putting the 12th hole behind us, we completely ruined that one, playing a little bit too aggressively. We got a par four on the 13th hole, 335 yards, wind left to right. We have a fairway here. I'm guessing that's what it wants us to do, so we're going to do it. There's a tree a nice big one right in our view here maybe there's another fairway maybe we could just play like an idiot again i kind of do like playing like an idiot not gonna lie to you guys it's, it's a lot of fun Ooh. All right, we are chipping out of what looks like rough, but it says we have a sand lie taking about 20, 25% off of our shot. Uh, I don't like to, I do typically splash out of the sand, but we are so close to the edge, I don't even think that's like an option. Let's just try to get it out of here, see what happens. Almost dunked it. Third shot. Pretty straightforward birdie. Let's make this. All right, 14th hole. We got another par four, 369 yards. The wind is at our back. Can we take advantage of that? Probably not because all of this rough. So we're going to take it nice and easy here. See if this hybrid will roll up right to the edge.
All right, so that's given us a nice 124-yard uh, shot. We're going to club down just a bit because of that wind being at our back. It's going to get us there, I'm pretty sure. Let's see what happens. We can hold out from 124 yards. Let's do this. All right, here we are, 15th hole, another par three, 218 yards, wind is slightly right to left. We are hitting over a bunch of houses. This is a very dangerous hole. What is happening? Uh, we're going to aim at this bush, hit it nice and high. Oh, my God. Okay, this is our second shot. We are right up against the fence. I'm guessing our club is going to go through the fence. It does. And we're chipping it out of the heavy rough. Otherwise, pretty straightforward. All right, 16th hole, another par five. I do not even know where the flag is on this one. Okay, 333 yards in this direction. Let's take a look at what we got here. It is between all of these houses. It does appear to be between these houses. I wonder if we can just bounce it right up this. Of course, there's tree trouble as usual. I'm wondering about this very very risky risky play let's see what happens well we are just going to be hitting out of the rough every chance we get 78 yards for our second shot on the par five we could probably get there in two as long as we play this smart heavy rough has taken about 25 30 percent off of our shot so we definitely need to club up quite a bit. Wind is left to right. Let's take a look at the green. It seems to be in the center of the green for the most part. So let's, uh, let's just see what happens. All right, on the green and two, putting for eagle for number three. Let's see if we can do this. It's straight. It's literally straight. All right, we are 15 under through 16 holes. We're on the 17th. It's a par three, 131 yards. Wind is slightly at our back. Uh, so we're going to club down just a tad, let the wind do its work. Another hole-in-one opportunity. I'm going to just barely loft this a little higher than usual. Whoa, okay. First shot took a, a nice little bounce off that hill, so it kind of took away our hole-in-one opportunity, but we got a straightforward putt for birdie. All right, final hole. Looks like it's aim aiming us this way with our three wood for some reason, even though the hole is to the left. It looks like the hole is in this little complex area here. We are going to be dumb as usual and just play right for the green. Worst case, we hit it far in that rough. We've been living out of that rough all day, so I'm not too worried about it as long as we get a straight shot. So put a little bit of loft and try to put a little bit of spin on that driver, you know, as much as you can in this game. But we are on the green for another eagle put with the opportunity to go 18 under through 18 holes. I hit the ball too soon, didn't feel the vibrate, and also my thumb was all over the place. So we are going 17 under through 18.
That bogey, if I didn't get that bogey, we would have been good to go for 18 under through 18. I don't know if I've ever done that before. Not sure. But thank you guys for watching. I highly recommend this course and many of TGC members' courses. They seem to be fantastic. If, if people like these videos, I'll keep posting them. Um, I'm really excited for the new golf games. You know, I've been playing this one for hundreds of hours, and I'm ready for the next one. Anyways, thanks for watching. Really appreciate that. Hope you all have a great day. And I'll catch you next time.